2020 was, there was, had been one news magazine called 60 Minutes. ABC decided to do 2020. Uh, they put it on the, they asked me to do it in the beginning. I said I couldn't take another failure. It was very smart of me to have said that, and I really emotionally, I guess, couldn't. The first program was such a disaster. Um, I won't say who was on it, but it was, it was an Englishman and an Australian, um, well, in any event. And Arun uh, Alish didn't know what to do, and as luck would have it, he needed someone right away. Hugh Downs was guest hosting on Good Morning America. And Rune said, is he available? And he was. And that's how Hugh started. And then it was felt after a couple of years, when I had done all of this different kind of reporting, I felt that I wanted a home. I wanted a place. Because many of my interviews were on 2020. And Rune felt that it would be very good to have the two of us. We worked well together and that I could bring some things to the program that might be um, advantageous to the program. Hugh didn't want it at first, but unlike Harry Reasoner, he said, look, I, I really would rather do it alone, but if somebody's going to be on with me, I'm glad it's you, and that was it. And from day one, we clicked. And I've now been on that program for, I think, 22 years, 23 years, something like that. After 20 years, you lose count. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you and Hugh Downs work so well together? It was sort of an unspoken, um, um, lovely relationship. The audience felt our affection for each other. We were very different kinds of people with very different kinds of mind, but we had a little humor. And um, he was, was never resentful of my big interviews. And he did lots of wonderful adventure stories that the audience loved. He was very generous, is a very generous person in, in his spirit and the way he was. And we were just a very good team. And people just saw that. They knew that we were happy together and comfortable together. Very hard to get a good team.